you seem to be wearing quite a similar outfit. I thought I thought I'd wear this because it's winter out there, so I thought I'd wear a summer shirt. Oh, because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can afford to travel. So what he's allowing the viewers to do is travel through his life. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And you've, you've gone for this, a similar sort of... Yeah, I've done it because, once again, I turned up with a branded T-shirt that your producers wouldn't let me wear. <laughs> so they thought the option was a nine-year-old shirt... <laughs> ..and give me an earring... <laughs> ..just to upset it <laughs> so I don't look like a total idiot. <laughs> She actually said, just try it on, see how you feel. I got to there. <laughs> and I started crying, Jimmy. <laughs> started so crying because my life hasn't quite gone to plan. What have you got? Um, don't you know, about it. Seven, seven. Paul? Probably best to go for a five. <laughs> Sean? Five. Sarah? I think I'll go with a five. OK, Rob? Five and it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ramesh? Got, a, got myself a five. <laughs> What's your five? Testy. <laughs> Sean? Got it. Bob? Three, four, five. Richard? Uh, three, four, six. OK, perfect. And John? No. No, I didn't get that one. What, what, <laughs> what happened during that game? You, you seemed distracted. I had uh, a little... I dealt with it. Just a little problem. <laughs> That's a shocking colour. You're dehydrated. <laughs> I think so. Stinks as well. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It doesn't smell good. It smells very... Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you need to see somebody. Bob. <laughs> Bob, have a little... Just have a little taste of that. You're all right. I prefer solids. <laughs> It feels like your shirt's sort of sticking out. <laughs> is there an issue with it? Is it OK? Well, it, actually, it's my uh, lucky mascot. Your mascot? What is your mascot, then? Yeah, well, you know, like, you know when you go and you watch football or rugby at a sports bar? Well, I thought, let's bring that closer to home. So I've brought a sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> You I'm... see, you know you've got jogger's nipple. What about jogger's tipple? <laughs> Baileys. I mean, it's not as much Baileys as we were hoping for. Well... <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. oh. <laughs> Alan, I've been, I've been waiting to say this to you. Alan, I think your tits are broken. <laughs> Well, I'll try the alpha one, but you know what? You know when you were slagging me off earlier? What? It was slowly going down me tip. <laughs> you know when you were going, yeah, you look like a beaver. I was like, ha, 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 it's all down me tip. <laughs> and and this is, is Guinness, this is Guinness. Ah. Oh, look, sure. it's coming out now, it's flowing. Look, it's like Niagara. <laughs> I think there's a good chance Alan drank it all before he came oh, to the show. Oh, give over. <laughs> oh. Can you imagine people switching over thinking this is QVC or something? <laughs> <laughs> you used to work as a door-to-door -door salesman, Johnny. Um, yeah, I did a bit. I did three nights. <laughs> <laughs> you did three nights? What, what did you sell? Uh, when, when lots of people bought the council houses, uh, I, I went door-to-door -door and offered to service the, uh, all the gas devices. <laughs> So we would come in and for only £25, we would service every device and that would cover you for the year. So your initial call out charge would be covered under that £25. <laughs> um, I what? didn't know you were going to ask me about that. In fairness, I thought you were going to ask me why I'm wearing this ridiculous fucking shirt. <laughs> it's got naked women on it. I look like I fly an helicopter in Barbados. <laughs> There's a woman by the buttonhole with her legs akimbo. <laughs> Jimmy, that's what I thought we'd be discussing. <laughs> Not my shady pass going door to door. <laughs> so don't do your, oh, let's move on. That was a bit quiet. <laughs> all I'm saying, Johnny, all I'm saying, and I'll stand by my point. Don't is... fit! Don't fit! <laughs> yeah, I brought, um, I brought this little toy lion. It, um, 
belongs to my second child. Um, <laughs> now, I, I want to sort of show support for him because basically, when we had our first child, it's like really nice and like decent and chilled out. And I thought we were like really good parents. And then the second one arrives, Alex, and he's just feral. Like, he's... <laughs> Unacceptable human being, you know, and, and like whenever, whenever we go out, he'll run away, and I don't mean like run away like oh, isn't it funny? Like run away like he's fleeing ISIS. Like it's <laughs> properly like, <laughs> like going for the hills, man. Like and, and so I, I've brought this because he always freaks out when he's not with it. <laughs> okay, so Sean and Richard have 32. John and Jessica have 43. OK, fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's conundrum that doesn't matter. I'm born ready for that. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, John and Jessica have won. You can go now. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> time for today's conundrum. Your time starts now. Sean. Submarine. Well, let's have a look and see if you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, I'll the time back in London. Did you not direct a film called Submarine? <laughs> no, I rinsed my bum. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have got a two in that numbers game, you'd have won. Yeah. Again, delightful news for someone who cares. <laughs> it would have been nice to win, though, wouldn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> deep down, you're really hurt, and you mm. can't show it. No, deep down, I've realised that I should have spent the evening with my family. The message. <laughs> <laughs> I've got PJs. PJs. <laughs> 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 so you got you got pyjamas, basically. Yeah. So, so you got a seven-letter word. What? Well, technically, that yeah. counts. PJs counts as pajamas. You're doesn't shitting it? me. You're not going to give. You're not going to give pajamas. <laughs> counts as pajamas. This is like a seven-letter word. About man. Well, PJs are in, but they're sort of abbreviation. Normally on normal countdown, I'd probably say no. But it's a three, and you know. You know what? You are arguing over whether you're going to allow <laughs> a man who can barely dress himself. <laughs> <laughs> An apostrophe. <laughs> like I offer any threat. <laughs> Can I just clarify, that's not going as a seven. I just want that cleared up. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't think Ofcom are coming in. I think we're going to be OK. Slow. <laughs> Does it come from stars above? <laughs> Is it underneath the willow tree? <laughs> I think you should let him have it. Yeah, yeah, no, dude, seven, seven's fine, man. That's fine. Pajamas, wicked. No, OK. Uh, we'll give him a three. Woo! I'm on fire! And I've also got PJO, which is an abbreviation for pejorative. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to let that go. You let that bullshit go. So. <laughs> yeah, no, we... No, I, w I would have let it go, but it's a ten-letter word. We can only go to nine, I'm afraid, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is an well, absolute it's, joke, it's, mate. It's clothing for children so they don't get cold at night. And you're calling it bullshit. You want those children to freeze, do you? You want those children to freeze? My issue is not with the concept I of pyjamas. I can't wait for the council to take your kids <laughs> off you. <laughs> Could they have done any better? Alex, Susie. Uh, well, it's not very big, but I've got... Uh, I've got a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. That is countdown magic.